Once again, we're using the same example where we calculate the total sales for each client. Now in MySQL, we have a powerful operator for summarizing data called with rollup. So here in our group by clause, after we list our columns, we type out with rollup. Now, when we execute this query, we get one extra row that summarizes our entire result set. So 2590 is the sum of total sales across all clients. Note that the client ID in this row is null because it doesn't make sense to add these values together. So the rollup operator only applies to columns that aggregate values. Now, what if we group by multiple columns? Let me show you. So once again, we're gonna join our invoices table with the client's table using the client ID column. Now, instead of grouping by client ID, let's group by state and city and also include these columns in our select clause. So state, city, and the sum of invoice total. Let's execute this query and see what we get. All right, here's what we get. First, we see the total sales for the city of San Francisco in California. And below that, we see the total sales for all cities in California. So the rollup operator calculates the summary for each group. Similarly, you can see the total sales for all cities in New York, as well as all cities in Oregon, and finally, all cities in all states. So when you group by multiple columns and use the rollup operator, you see the summary values for each group, as well as the entire result set. So the rollup operator is very useful and it has a lot of applications in the real world. However, it's only available in MySQL. It's not part of the standard SQL language. So you're not going to be able to execute this query in SQL Server or Oracle. But I'm pretty sure that those database engines have similar operators to summarize data. And here's your exercise for this tutorial. Write a query to produce this report. Here we have two columns payment method, and total. So we can see the total for each payment method as well as the total amounts we have received. We need to write this query against the payments table. So go ahead and do this exercise. When you're done, come back, continue watching. All right, just like always, we start by simplifying our problem. So first, let's select everything from the payments table. So we get all these columns but we're only interested in payment method and the total amount for each payment method. Now, our payment methods here are numeric values. So later we need to join this table with the payment methods table to get the actual name for each payment method. But let's not worry about that yet because we wanna solve this problem step by step. So from this table, we wanna pick the payment method column and the sum of amount. We're going to rename this to total. Now we need to group our data. So group by payment method. Let's execute the query. Here's what we get. Beautiful. We can add with roll up and this adds the summary row at the end. Beautiful. Now finally, we need to join this table with the payment methods table to get the actual names. We give our table an alias and then join it with payment methods, PM. As I told you before, we cannot join these two tables using the using clause because the column names are not the same. So we use the on clause where P dot payment method equals PM dot payment method ID. Let's execute the query one more time. Beautiful. We still see the same result. Now we should replace this payment method ID with the actual name of the payment method. So PM dot name as payment method. Now, if we execute this query, we get an error in the output window because when we use the rollup operator, we cannot use a column alias in the group by clause. So here we need to type the actual name of the column that is PM dot name. That was a little detail that I probably forgot to tell you earlier. So sorry about that. In case you couldn't solve this problem, that is totally fine. Let's execute the query one more time. All right, and here's the total result. So we see the total amount we have received for each payment method, as well as the total amount across all payment methods. And here's the final solution.